Hey guys, Stacy here, We Grow Again. I'm outside this morning, it's early, it's about 7 o'clock, and I wanted to show you what I've been doing these past couple of days, because this is blight. This is what blight looks like. It starts on your plants, it starts as like black spots, and blight is mold. Um, just to simplify this, really easy for you, because blight can be really complicated to figure out and diagnose and treat. I treat all my blight with neem oil. Um, this is what blight starts to look like. It starts getting yellow, um, blotchiness, black spots, and that's no good, guys. You don't want that. Um, this is blight happening, and it's just mold. And I treated this with neem oil yesterday. I sprayed everything. I sprayed my foliage. I treated all the soil, all the soil around my totes, around my plants. Um, I treated everything with neem oil. This, I did some really, really um, hardy defoliation on the other day. This was getting leaf miners little by little, um, and then blight started to set in on here. Um, I thought it was from the nutrients, and it wasn't. And you can see that it stopped, um, and that's because I treated with my neem. I trimmed off all the yellow leaves. Anything yellow, anything damaged, you know, you want to get off of there. You want to make sure you're only leaving healthy green leaves because um, this blight is going to spread really fast. Um, now when you trim your plant, since I defoliated this quite a bit, if your plant's this big, you only want to remove 20% of your plant at a time um, because you can really shock it. Now this I've been working on little by little throughout the last couple days and I opened up all the leaves. I trimmed up all these leaves that were going on over and, and, and into each other. And that's why blight happens because, you know, there's no air circulation if this leaf is over these leaves. You know, there's no air circulation going in here. So that's how blight starts. You want to make sure airflow is going in between all your leaves of all your plants. Make sure nothing's too crunched together. Make sure everything's got their own space. And you should be okay with um, as far as controlling blight. Get all them leaves off of there. Now, um, these I'm not going to cut off because this is pretty small. Um, this zucchini is only about a week old. Zucchini grows really quick. So eventually when this little leaf, healthy leaf, pops out and this blight stops, um, it only got to these two leaves right now, but it will creep up the plant and kill your plant within, I mean, it can kill your plant within days to weeks. So make sure you're treating it as soon as you see that starting to happen, guys. And you should catch it pretty quick and be all right. Um, now spray your foliage on top, underneath. Now Something like this, like I said, I'm not going to cut until this middle growth starts growing some more leaves out of it. Um, usually I cut this off, but it's just a little too young right now, and I don't want to. And I know my neem oil is going to kind of stop that. Neem oil is really good with um, fungus and preventing mold from happening, and also bugs. I get leaf miners on my plants like crazy. Um, I don't know if you can see them little buggers. They're already on here. And this is blight. And this is what I, this is what I was scared of happening. This is what blight looks like, guys. You can see that really good. And you want to spray. I'm going to chop that leaf off a little later um, tonight. And then I'm going to give it a good spray again. I sprayed all these yesterday with neem, everything. Um, I wanted to show you what else it looks like. That's what it can look like on a pumpkin. These are pumpkin leaves. And you get that black spotting. You get that blotchiness. It can look like nutrient deficiency, but this is blight. This is not nutrient deficiency. Um, I should have caught this a little earlier than what it is now because it's already up half my plant. Um, you can see the other half is really green, growing nice and big. And then this part is just totally killed off. And that's why blight is very destructive. So get it, treat it. Baking soda, you can treat with baking soda, guys, but baking soda really doesn't kill it it only controls it and slows it down so get some neem get some stuff specifically for blight um, there's videos out there on what you can use and get I just use neem oil and it seems to help with everything here in Florida guys remember keep your stuff off the ground you can see I tied this zucchini up I put two sticks on the sides a cup to kind of keep that sand from splashing on my leaves which is helping quite a bit um, it's not as dirty as it was which that is the main reason for blight, your, your soil splashing up on your leaves, you're keeping them wet at night, 
Um, water in the morning, make sure you're not keeping your leaves wet at night, and that'll prevent any mold and bugs from really taking over your garden, guys. Till next time, I hope that helped you in the best way possible. Bye-bye.